What's going on, y'all? It's John Camrula, and this is the album review segment of the page. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to the page because I know y'all heard Killer Mike, Michael. I need y'all to comment and interact with me on this one, man. This album right here, y'all can say this right here was the pro-black, black excellence album. Because the lane that he is, that he lives his lifestyle in, you know, this is like the soundtrack to it. You feel me? Powerful lyrics, powerful music that makes you think about you know where you at in life and what's what you got going on in life you feel me um the flows were good the songs were good it's just the first two tracks with that aggressive it kind of sounded like you know what i'm saying he was reading off his book the songs were good it just the flow wasn't it made me feel like is this the tone of the album but then when i heard the track run with young thug you know from there on out it kind of mellowed out and it just set the tone for the album Altogether was a complete project though. So yeah, I'm fucking with the first two tracks. My my first favorite track was Talking That Shit. Y'all already know why, because Killer Mike is just a monster on these beats. And then you put him with DJ Paul, they probably could do a whole mixtape together. He had a lot of features on this one, man. You know, he one thing about Killer Mike, he could make, this album could have been done by itself and this shit still would have hit because he kept two verses on each track even though he had features. So I'll let you know he could carry his own if he wanted to. Um, scientists and engineers, obviously that's a first generation, second generation Dungeon Family track. You already know it's gonna be self-explanatory. It's gonna be good. You know, Andre 3000 and Future, that's like cheating, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it was a good track, obviously. Um, and Rich was a vibe. Um, <clears throat> my second favorite track was Two Days with Ty Dolla Sign. That song right there was lovely. Plus the beat with that country rock and roll type of flow with that. But it was hip hop though, you know what I'm saying? That's a beat I would rap to, you know what I'm saying? If the... Listen y'all, Killer Mike is way different than Run The Jewels. I just want to tell y'all that flat out. This album was just perfect for him, you know what I'm saying? Something for the junkies. I like the message in that song. It was a good little, good little song. It opened us up to a chamber. He opened up a chamber in his past to let us know something about him in this song right here. So, you know, if you go listen to that, that'll let you know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? It's that real old school vibe, too. Obviously, don't let the devil, because Run the Jewels is dope. The beat was dope. The flow and the lyrics was flames. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, bro. Now, comparing, now, my rating for this album, comparing it to the Killer Mike catalog, this is a nine. Comparing it to the albums that came out this year so far, it's a seven. So this is a dope album, y'all. I, I encourage y'all to go listen to this one right here, man. John Kim Ruler, and I'm out. Peace.